Sometimes you just have to get away to put things in perspective. Wind down. This helps. Amphora. There's no rush here. Just plenty of time to concentrate on the really important things. Come on, boy. Let's go fishing. Mellow, bite-free Amphora. The comfortable smoke. Hello, YouTube. FT here. I've got a little cuddly toy. The brand name is called Rover. And he is 19 and a half years old. He was my son's when he was six months old. And my son is now 20 at university. And he keeps it with him all the time at university. Obviously he doesn't take it to lessons, but he keeps it in his digs. That's a cuddly puppy. Cuddly puppy slam! I've got a little yappo here from Terry Love UK. I've also got some of this beeswax hemp that Jay was talking about. So I'm going to try and light my pipe with it. The house of keeping, I'm a smoking my PSP, Patrick the Pipe, FT Special Poker. And in it, I'm smoking Cool House and Coop Easter Bunny Mix. It's just Easter tobacco mix, of course. Had my hair cut. And I'm drinking iced 7 up. So let's see what Terry sent me. Terry Love UK. Get into this. I don't think I can. There we go. Oh, I've got a note. Oh, wow, it's quite a big note. I'll just have a read of this. Thanks Terry, it's really kind, thank you. So in this compact package, Terry has sent me some Curly Flake, W.O. Larson's Selected Blend number 32. And some Chocolate Orange, Wilson's of Sharrow Snuff. Now if I can pronounce this right, Guavana Snuff. This one is Samuel and Gareth. Never tried these two Terry, thank you. And finally there's a little snuff box in here. Oh, it's gorgeous. Wow, Terry. That is so cool. This is amazing. This is a uh, horn. A little horn snuff box. And it's got a farthing, the old coin, an old farthing coin on the front. And it's a 1912 farthing, 
But as Terry said in his letter, it looks as though someone has placed the farthing in some sort of die and then either a high pressure stamp has been stamped into it so it's been pushed outwards and formed into the shape of that lady on the front which is uh, almost three dimensional comes out of the box or I should say comes out of the coin and then the coin is stuck onto the box now it does look to me as though someone in the past has attempted to remove the coin from the box lid uh, and in doing so you can see scratches all around the coin but it's securely held in place it's a lovely tight seal on it lifts up put your snuff in clips together beautifully that is really nice Terry. Wow, thank you very much. Mmm, it's still got the snuff smell. And Terry said the, the hole here is quite small and if you've got chubby fingers it's like me, it's hard to get in and I use my thumb and finger. So you actually end up, you can only get a little pinch at a time, but that's good. That's not bad at all. Well, even the lid is um, cut out of the same horn with this larger bit attached to it and it's got a beautifully inlaid hinge in there. What a lovely gift. Wow, thank you Terry. Fantastic. I'm going to use that. I'm going to put snuff in it. I'm not going to take it out of the house because I'd be so scared of losing it. But I'm going to keep it here on my desk in place of this little silver one. It's, this was a pill box but as you can see I've been using it as a snuff box and so this can um, go in my pockets so I can use this as I travel around but this one is uh, too nice this one's gonna have to stay here in my room I've got one more thing to show you all. Go on, go out. Max, here, out. Go on, go out. No? Okay. Well, uh, as you can all see, It's a lovely summer's day here in the UK. So thanks for watching everybody. Stay safe. Keep them alight. I'll see you next time. Cheers.